Capricorn Spiritual Journey. I'm so glad you could join me. I'm going to be doing a reading for each sign for this week. So we are on July 14th, so we're going to go up until tomorrow's the 15th. We're going to go up until, until like July 21st. So this is going to be for each sign, so make sure you check out the timestamps below. Um, and we're going to invite the spirit guides and universe in for the best message we need to hear for us high, for our highest good. And we're going to get these messages in. Um, if you are already subscribed, I appreciate it. I appreciate you coming here tonight and visiting me. Just know that these might not resonate. And it might be a good idea, too, to check out maybe your moon as well as your, uh, beside your sun, your moon as, your, as well as your rising sign. And if you're thinking about a love situation, maybe your Venus even. So um, what I'm going to do is start off with a fortune cookie card. And we're going to see what the message might be about, okay, regarding, because, you know, it can be about all different areas, and it still might be, but, you know, we're going to check out and see if there's a specific thing. Then we're going to be using the Archangel Power Tarot deck. This is by Radley Valentine, and this will bring in our Archangels that are supporting us through this situation this week. Then we're going to be using also some clarifying with the regular Rider weight Tarot deck. And then we are going to pull, uh, oh, I forgot the, the, what's this one's called again? The Wild Goddess Oracle and the Soul's Journey. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this message, okay? Let's go ahead and start. Make sure you check out the timestamps because I'm going to be pausing in between. You know, 12 signs takes a little bit of time. So let's go ahead and get into it. So let's go ahead and start off um, our message. All right, Taurus, thanks for joining me. I had to eat some of this. Uh, I got this key lime margarita cotton candy. So my son went out with his uh, sisters as well as his dad and they had a day out and he got this for me and he brought it home. And I've never really been a big fan of cotton candy. Um, so I eat it once in a while. I mean, I don't hate it, but anyway, he was in my room the other day and he's like, hey, you haven't been eating that cotton candy. <laughs> So, because I'm not a, a big sweet eater, so I have to be in the mood. But it's not, it's not too bad. I think cotton candy is weird, the, the texture of it. You know? But I can taste the lime. It's like adult cotton candy. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I'd try it real quick because I'm making a dent a little bit. So I, I don't, you know, if you're a kid, you want to like, you know, the weeds and everything. It's, it's a lot, but even if they're older, it still means a lot. Anyway. Let's go ahead and get into the message. Now I got to drink a <laughs> drink, excuse me. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start with the fortune cookie to see what this message is uh, around more so. Okay. So whoever Taurus this is um, message is for, we're going to go ahead and see. So let's go ahead and get into our, our fortune cookie card for Taurus, please. Let's see. So we're in mid-July. Let's see. Oh, there we go. All right. So we have opportunities. So good. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times and plenty of action, plus a special family reunion looks likely. Nice. And then on the bottom, we have wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from the older person, which will allow you to move on. Okay. So it might be this stranger might be an older person for some of you. It could be two different situations, but there's some kind of opportunity and there's wisdom coming in. So maybe they'll have the advice for this opportunity, whatever. So let's go ahead and get into the rest of the messages. So now we're going to do the, let's forget the name of this, the Wild Goddess Oracle. Okay. Let's see what else is coming up for you. All right. Let's see. Let's see if it gets like deep like Aries did. Let's see. All right, let's see what Taurus is here. Let's see, what, what's coming up for you, Taurus? Wild Goddess Oracle, come on. Bring in the message for Taurus, please. My friend's Taurus. All right, so we have the poet, the poet. And it says, make your life a work of art and your art a work of life. See the poetry in the mundane and you will be rewarded beyond measure. So I feel like, you know, noticing the good, the beauty of things. So this opportunity might be something that you might not really, you know, because sometimes we dismiss things. We don't see the beauty in things. So, and, but your planet is Venus. So I love that because, you know, Venus is the planet of beauty. So there's something beautiful, even if it's just something, like I said, the cotton candy gift or a 
weed, like a dandelion as a, as a gift from your kid. There's beauty in that, even the basic small things. So there's something like that that's going to change your life, you know? So be careful. I mean, be more aware, not careful. Be more aware of things and don't dismiss things, you know, just like, oh, it's just a rock. You know what I'm saying? You know? I kind of feel, feel like there's something beautiful in that situation. And we have the seeker on the bottom, which is the meaning of life is to seek ways to give your life meaning. Doing so with gratitude, patience, and compassion for both others and yourself. So just that's that's interesting because, you know, when we, when we get older or if we're wiser, we realize that those small things are what the meaning of life is, right? Those are the meaning of life. If we look back on our life, we think, you know, those are the things that meant the most to me. Those dandelions as gifts, you know, this quality time you have, you know, just reading a story to your kids or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you you're aware of those things, you know, be be more in tune and practice that gratitude and things like that, because you do have an opportunity and wisdom coming in. And it's going to be those little things that's going to change your life. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the Archangel Tarot cards and see what your Archangels want to tell you regarding this situation. Which Archangels want to come in? All right. So we have Queen of Raphael, which is the Queen of Cups. Talk about compassion. There we go. That's somebody that is very open hearted and compassionate. Um, she does see the beauty of things. And it's all about our in intuition and our psychic abilities as well. So kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. So this information could be coming through you through your like visions and things like that. So, you know, you might be meeting a stranger, but you also might be having dreams visions things like that that that's going to give you that information so i love that energy on the bottom we have the five of michael which is the five of swords so it could be regarding some kind of conflict as well all right so seeing the beauty in things you know like sometimes we dismiss like that conflict and those hardships but if we look at it a lot of times it's like a blessing in disguise right so there's beauty even in that so let's see what else is coming up like it got really quiet all of a sudden now we have the ten of gabriel which is the ten of wands because that's that's like a burden so sometimes if we take on all the conflicts and all the, the hardships and all that it can be a very difficult time and a burden so this i feel like this too could be some opportunity where a weight's going to be lifted off you as well this says uh, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load so i feel like if you have been asking for some assistance or or your load to be lightened a little that this is an opportunity where people are going to come in to help you with that offer you wisdom give you visions things like that and on the bottom we have perspective ah oh, yes seeing things in a different perspective that hangman energy yeah it's how you look at it you know you know, we can look at the thorns on the rose and think, ah, oh, they're terrible. They have all those thorns. Or we can look and say, you know, look at that beautiful rose on that, right? That thorn bush has a beautiful rose on it instead of like the roses is full of thorns, you know? So let's see what else is coming up. Now we have the moon. So this is Archangel Haniel, and it's the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition, and uh, ex uh, um, I'm sorry, an accurate guidance, face your fears and grow stronger. So I do really do feel like you're getting a lot of information through like dreams, visions, uh, people that strangers walking up and giving you advice or, or making you feel good, things like that. And look at that. The Empress is on the bottom. Talk about Venus energy. There we go. Seeing the beauty of things, being nurturing, being intuitive, right? It's time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious, of abundant resources. So some of you, maybe you need to like do what's happened to your create creativity too. Paint, um, do works of art, uh, make music, write poetry, anything like that. All right, so we're going to clarify these cards. So let's go ahead and do the Queen of Raphael here. Queen of Cups. So right now might be the time, maybe you've been beating yourself up about like, I don't do good when I do painting or something like that. And it might be time to do it because one person's 
beauty piece of art and it's like another one's like what the hell is that you know what i'm saying so yeah look yeah juggling so uh, you might be going back and forth with this and it's saying you know tap into that intuition open your heart space and act from love okay if it's beautiful to you that's all that matters okay and somebody else is going to fall in line all right let's get the ten of gabriel or the ten of wands oops this one didn't flip over ten of wands please for Taurus. Ah, it could be something from your past, you know, inner child wounds. Maybe you always told you didn't do good. You know, maybe you paint, you used to paint and loved it. And then somebody in your past was like, what, what is that? That looks like something, you know, like a child would do or something, you know, so it could be something with that. So maybe tap into that and say, are you carrying those burdens from your past? Because somebody didn't have their own shit together. And then they, spewed it on you and made you less confident okay yeah look at that you might be chained to that that energy you know things from our past that's like that ghost hanging on our shoulder right dragging us through life you know so be careful with that that also could be a capricorn it could be a capricorn in this situation all right let's get this moon ah there you are oh no that's not you i'm sorry you're a higher fan there's that uh, intuition again, the higher self. Yep. Yeah, see, your subconscious and your dreams and things like that, your higher self is coming through saying, you got to face these fears. You got to trust your intuition. If this is what you've always wanted to do. You can't let that past ghost hold you down or what people say. You got to trust it. It is time. Okay? Be that seeker. Be that poet. So there's something about your creativity here really big time. We have that Knight of Wands. So go, going towards your passions, whatever you're passionate about. Don't care if like if you're perfect at it or what people are going to say. If you love to do it, do it. All right? Take action on that now. All right? Okay, so we are going to get a Soul's Journey. Soul's journey for Taurus. Change. There you go. And it says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. There you go. There's that action. So I do feel like this is a big energy about like something you always love to do. Maybe people put it down or some negative person said something. You took it too personal, whatever. But it's like been dragging with you. And there's something that you want to do. You always love to do. And it might even be affecting your mood. But it's time to do that. And you're getting some kind of opportunity here. Maybe some wisdom from somebody. Uh, opportunity from a stranger. But I feel like it's time. The, the universe and spirit guides are telling you. Whatever it is you love to do. Even if it's a, as a hobby. You need to put it out there. Okay? Because there's, it's time. People are going to be connecting to that now. And we have surrender. Yes, it's time to surrender. Big surrendering. Aries said that too. All right. So we're just going to go ahead and just get a few more cards for, for some advice. Yeah, too many people put their dreams on hold because of what other people say are burdens and stuff. And that's not good. It's We only, you know, we're here for this life for a short time, you know? Four of Swords, yeah. Take some time out, rest, contemplate, rejuvenate, and get your ass out there, Taurus. <laughs> Put yourself out there. All right, let's see. And don't be stubborn about it. All right, so we have King of Wands. Well, there you go. Somebody that goes after their passions, and they don't care what people think. They're going to do what they want to do, right? Somebody that chases their passions. That's what you're being told. Chase those passions. Light that fire within you and get going. After you do some resting and contemplating. And the Ace of Swords. Yep. So there's that wisdom coming in. Some kind of clarity. Some revelation. So whatever that is coming in. Whether it's in your visions. Your dreams. From some stranger. Some older person. Whatever. You're going to get some kind of truth or clarity. And you know you're going to contemplate it. And then take action. That's what the universe is telling you in your spirit guides. Okay. Don't sit on it. <laughs> don't let that flame go out go for it and then we have the nine of swords don't overthink it don't get all anxious about it no that's what's going to happen do it while it's hot. like strike while the iron's hot yes all right so that is your message taurus thanks so much for joining me and you know go for those passions you know 
don't regret it when you're like at the end of life. Just go for it. All right. So that's your message, Taurus. Thanks for joining me. Take care.